open up um you open up um Photoshop. Uh you want to make a flyer. Uh, you want to make an IG post. You always want to get your dimensions right. So for an IG story, it's 1080 by 1920 for a story. You literally you'll um you get it from your uh your camera roll and you put on your uh IG story. You don't have to do any adjustment. It's gonna literally it's gonna it's gonna be fit, scaled fit perfectly. For an IG post, a regular post that you post on your um your Instagram, there are two different ones. There's a 1080 by 1080 and a 1080 by 1350. That the, that's when you click the um um the the little icon like this on the bottom corner, the bottom left corner, and it'll change it to 1080 by 1350. Uh, 1350. But right here, we're gonna be working with uh um 1080 by 1920 for the flyer. I just like it because it's um longer pause, so it's like um you can see the detail of it basically if you know what I mean. So, anyways, this picture I got this off of Pinterest. A lot of the um the flyers you saw, except for the hearts one, I got off of Pinterest. I literally saw it on Pinterest. I'm not making any money off of these flyers, but they're still like you could use those um. You can use those uh, pictures that you see on Pinterest, I believe. Some of them, you can use them as free. Like, they'll let you use it to make money. But I'm not making any money off of these flyers. Um, I just make them for people that need flyers for functions. I, if they need a flyer, I say, I got you. I'll make one. So, anyway, I saw this. I like this. Um, It gave me a um, sort of a teacher vibe when I saw it because it's like, you know, Apple, you know, in the movies, they give uh, teachers always have the red delicious apple on the um. It does stuff like that, so it gave me a teacher vibe. So what I do with what I did was first I scaled it properly, as you can see. Then I put Photoshop one on one. That's what we um, cause that's what I called this. I already knew what I was calling Photoshop one on one. So first I'm gonna take off the um the effects and show you guys this. I believe it's called yeah the bold font. Literally, that's all it's called. The font is called the bold font. So typed out Photoshop, just how I typed out AMO Kids and Worldwide with the other design as you guys saw. Put it, put it down right here. Scaled it properly. You see, it, this this one is bigger than this one. Emphasizes one on one. I said one on one, one on one. So I'm teaching you something. And Photoshop, the um, the application I'll be using. Then you go to your effects. You want to remember to double click. Oh, what? sorry about that. Let me turn on the effects again. Double click. So um, first on my um my color, I literally um so like the reds aren't off. A lot of times, what you want to use, you want to get the color, the um, your color overlay, which is basically just the color of the um, whatever the layer you're choosing, and um, you open it up. There's a color picker. You can um, actually go to the design itself and just click it, and it'll basically try to match the color for you. As you can see, this design is actually shaded. So what you want to do is pick the right spot. But I already did. As you can see, it's right there. That was the color, so I'm not going to change it. I picked the right spot that I liked, and I made it that color. I also put an outer glow on it. I changed the blood mode to screen. So let me show you how. This is how it is without an outer glow. Didn't like that. Wanted to give it more of a um, I, more of a cloudy feel. As you can see, the clouds in the back. So I gave it more of a cloudy feel. So I did... um. Gave it an outer glow, really. Usually, it's, it's, it's glowing in the back. Um, inner shadow, so it gives depth to the the um to the text. The text doesn't just look plain like this. It looks like it's, it gave it depth. So that's that. <laughs> and then the the bevel and boss. I'm not really um what's the word educated much about this yet. I still um I use it here and there. Um I like the effect it puts on text the text layers obviously, but it's like I still don't know what I'm doing like a lot of times when I'm using this when I'm in this blending option. I'm just seeing what looks good, seeing what doesn't and everything. 
So I usually, uh, I use a, I think it's, uh, I think I'll use it. Yeah, yeah. Is it the pillow? Yeah, I'll use the pillow. I'm about to size it. See, as you can see, you can size it to give it like a, basically a different type of texture in a sense. You soften it a little bit. You know, it's just, it, like I said, it's just like playing with it. You just play around with the thing. So see how it, see how it looks. Let's see. Um, we could, we could actually do another one. You see, that doesn't look good with that. That definitely doesn't look good. That's just horrible. No, that one's just horrible. See this bling? You know, if you see rapper merch, a lot of them back in the day would use a bling stuff. It's already right here, pre-made. All you have to do is put it in just like edit it to your liking. But anyways, we're going to cancel that because I already have the effects that I wanted on it. And it's the same thing like I did last time. All I did was copy layer style, go down to one on one, paste layer style. And it's the same thing. Um, so now I went to the bottom because I this is usually how I like to um set up my uh, flyers. I like to do a little a, a title, uh, um attention grabbing title, and then I go to the bottom, and then I do my um the information basically what they need. I put it I don't put it small, but I don't I put it small, but I don't put it too small so they they don't they don't have to zoom in and, and read it. It's still big enough so even if you have bad vision, you can read it. Then um 7 p.m. That's the time. 7 p.m. Eastern. Twitch. And my kids. You guys are here. You guys saw it, so I did a good job. I'm dead. And then um I put with myself with she. So I put it like this with a different font and a different color. So it's like uh, what's the word? I wanna say you're you're um you're distracted, but your eye catches it. So it's like you see the photos having one on one, same color, everything is like it like blends well when you go down. It's like blends well, but then you see witchy, you're like what the heck? So you read it multiple times. I I guess that's how the brain works. That's how I when I see stuff like that, I read it multiple times. I'll say witchy, so they know who like I, who's talking in it. it. It's not um Kareem, it's Chi, or if Kareem does it, it's not Kareem, uh, it's not Chi, it's Kareem. So you know, and then I put an exclamation mark because why not? And that's how I made this design, really.